Hey guys, what's going on? It's another beautiful morning in Vegas, and today I'm taking you to this restaurant called the Earl Grey Cafe in the Rampart Casino in Summerlin, Las Vegas. Let's go in and check it out. This restaurant is located in the back of the casino, right next to the buffet. Actually, almost all the restaurants are in this back corridor. This restaurant is open 24-7 every single day of the year. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They already have all the Halloween decorations out and are getting ready for a spooky good Halloween. Here's a look at their menus. The breakfast menu is only served from 5 a.m. to noon, and they have some nice breakfast specials here for $7.99 if you have a player's card. Everything seems to be pretty reasonably priced even if you don't get the specials. And here's our lunch and dinner menu, which is served from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. They have rotating monthly specials for $10.99 with the player's card. Otherwise, the regular price is $16.99. For the month of October, the special is barbecue ribs. And this daily special is only served from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. And you can add a soup or a salad for $1.99 more. They also have these three course specials that seem to be a really good deal too. And if you're a night owl, they have these $5.99 late night specials here from midnight to 5 a.m. And if you can't sit down to eat, there appears to be a $2.50 charge per entree for to-go orders. For an appetizer, we got the fried zucchini for $10.99. It comes with marinara and ranch sauces to dip them in. These came out hot and crispy. And the zucchini was soft and slimy in the middle. But this kind of tasted really under seasoned and bland. You really need the marinara and ranch to dip these in because otherwise there wasn't much flavor at all. The sauces tasted typical and they probably came from a bottle too. Had to take the zucchini out to see what it looked like. It really was super slimy. For our first entree, we got the fish and chips for $13.99. It comes with crinkle cut french fries, four pieces of lightly breaded and fried cod filet, coleslaw, and tartar sauce and ketchup to dip them in. The french fries were surprisingly really good and really crunchy. They were nicely salted and not bland like the zucchini was. The fish was nice and crispy too, but it was really quite greasy. You can see all the oil seeping out of it and coating my fingers. I don't even have to press too hard into it and all the grease just comes out. The fish inside tasted fresh, flaky, and moist. Other than the greasiness, it tasted pretty good. The tartar sauce tasted really sour and acidic. It was my first time eating tartar sauce that was this sour. Luckily, the fish tasted good by itself without any sauce. For our second entree, we got the 10.99 monthly special, which is a barbecue rib platter. It comes with half a rack of ribs, corn on the cob, mashed potato with brown gravy, cornbread, and a peach coleslaw. The corn was pretty good. Each kernel was crisp, moist, and sweet. The mashed potato was slightly chunky with some red potato skin still in there. And the brown gravy makes it quite savory. I personally prefer white gravy, but brown gravy is not bad either. And I also prefer mashed potatoes when they're chunky like this, unlike parade potatoes that they usually serve at steakhouses. The cornbread was good. It was soft, crumbly, and sweet. I added some extra butter on it too. And we have this coleslaw here that has lettuce, carrot, mayonnaise, and sliced canned peaches. I wasn't really a big fan of this. It just tasted like a strange combination with the sweet peaches and all that mayonnaise slathered on it. The barbecue ribs were decent. 
It wasn't fall off the bone tender, but still fairly tender. I really needed that knife to cut it apart. The barbecue sauce was pretty sweet and tangy, and they topped it with a lot of that barbecue sauce. I'd say the ribs tasted about average, and kind of low quality meat. It wasn't amazing, but not terrible either. I think Ellis Island Casino has a pretty good and cheap barbecue restaurant there. I always get the ribs at Ellis Island, but it's been a while since I've eaten there. Overall, this place doesn't seem too bad, especially for the price that you're paying. It's fairly cheap, filling, but I guess you also get what you pay for, since most of the food just tasted okay and wasn't anything too special. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you want more Vegas videos, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think of the Earl's Grey Cafe and the Rampart Casino.